Welcome back. Sorry. What's our situation? Let's just say Shiva and Titan's little spat hasn't made things any easier. And? It's as you thought. The Crusaders have sounded the retreat. Then we follow. We're down a man, Sergeant. If we return without Shiva's head, our fate will be no different from Beast's. I'll take my chances with the Iron Blood. At least then I might die fighting. After you do, that is. I won't be dying. Not today. Then it's settled. No dying. Now, if you don't mind, we have an army to chase. How do they expect us to kill some... Trails are gone. It'll be hell finding a way out. Do you think a retreating army and their dominant will fare any better? So, Titan has knocked the fight out of our Iron Blood friends. Where are the rest of them? That can't be the main host. Wait. In what, Petra? Our fortunes have turned, Sergeant. It's her. The dominant? Are you certain? The crystalline orthodox is a backwards faith for a backwards people. In the Iron Kingdom, they teach that dominance are unclean aberrations, born of blackest sin. 
Only their priests are allowed to perform the rites of priming. And I see many. We end this quickly. <sighs> Schweinskart! Adi Arinir Sagarid! Drach! Please. Dana! Must be Eile! Salvation now can Alan Scully asked. on the target. Understood. Is she dead? I don't think so. Well? What are you waiting for? Bloody do it then! Vendra! 
Get your ass over here and help me with these bastards! with you, Wyvern! The Dominant. I know her. Know her? Look around you! Do you think any of these animals care? I need you here! That's done. I won't ask you again, Wyvern. Take her head so we can be done with this. I... I can't. I won't. You would betray the Holy Empire? Betray? I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your Emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. And you think I don't? The Empire will have our heads if we return empty handed. So if you won't take hers, I'll have to take yours. I told you, Sergeant. I'm not dying here today. And neither is she. Let's find out. <laughs>
This way. Bloody wind. Well, come on then. Fuck. Fuck. Hugo, dear, my proud desert lion. Would that you had taken care when chasing the hare? I expected more from the mighty Titan. You put the Ice Queen on her back, no doubt. But you'll have to work harder if you're to claim this prize. My lady, the thunder. We'll be hearing more soon enough. You always were a fucking snake, Sid. Gather the men. We have work to do. Jill, is it really you? And who's this fine hound I see before me? A fine hound who saved your life, that's who. Torgal. Hey. His name is Torgal. You two acquainted. Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. Funny. I'd always pictured you as more of the chocobo type. Clive Rosfield. Come now. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. I'd heard rumors that you'd survived, but I never paid them much heed. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now her, on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. for wear. Still, might be best to get a second opinion. Back her up! No! Oh. Not another step. <laughs> I mean it. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not one with a warm bed waiting. It's all right. You're welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? Uh, Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. <laughs> I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on.
Not much further now. But we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Keen eye, you. The blight sucked this place dry. Meaning no trees, no birds, and no magic. But it also means no neighbors. The last place anyone would think to look. Home sweet home. This place. These are fallen ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of nelf. You must be starving. We grow them here, believe it or not. Hmm? Suit yourself. You're back. Ah, tell you. And this is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. But, but none will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You've nothing to worry about. Go on. Have a look around. I'll be in my solo. Another newcomer. You mind the rules round here, or our next chat will be through the bars. The washroom floor's all mended. Once told me, the blight doesn't kill the land, it only makes her forget who she once was. She'll eventually remember her purpose. All she needs is a little reminding. Sid, once told me, the blight doesn't kill the land.
your brand. Lady Tyre might be able to see to that. You may have been born. Leave me be. Not until you've had your medicine. These apples are all foul. Time for a nip with old August before scampering back to his solar, but no. Lonely when lightning lost. struck his yoke, did break his life. So spend the old morning. working on a pet project of mine, though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. All right, I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield, a bearer of the Sambrequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines, with orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the Dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills, conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. <sighs> I'll not have it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why, nothing. Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. And it's also why we need help. From branded who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged. My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil to win. Well, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. 
the Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not... Interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominant of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. Let's make ready then. You'll find everything you need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. Have fun. It's downstairs. Try not to get lost. Was it? Perhaps you can help. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, there's old Nan's place. Oh, oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. A blacksmith? To the forge it is then. Oh, wait, no, hold up. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. Fancy a mug of Kenneth Congress when we're done. Are you Blackthorn? What if I am? I'm no time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sid to Lost Wing and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to our holy bedchamber, for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Is that so? Do you want that or not? I can take it back. Oh, damn you, Goots. All right, all right. No need to be hasty. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> I doubt that lock has stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bearers dead than kid it out properly. I'll do what I can, as a favor to Goot's mind. And the bell? You want anything else? I'll bear that in mind. <sighs> a word of advice. I suppose I should thank Goots. The gift worked. You have my thanks. I, uh, uh, <laughs> Come on, nearly there. Blankets, quick as you like. <laughs> mm. 
All right. We make them comfortable while the bed's made up. <laughs> well, you're just going to stand there. Someone fetch some water. I'll get the bucket. Yeah, you go and see if I don't need's out, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, me? <sighs> What the hell have I got myself into? Who are they? Huh? They're freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Shit, at this rate, he won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need Tyre. Well, go on. Was Ty the one looking after Jill? Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions when she's recovered. I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bears. Well, why didn't you say so? <sighs> I did say so. He's going to be all right, but I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. My work's just begun. Another fine day at the hideaway. Do many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state? It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more than happy to help you. Right. Oh, and thanks. Not likely. Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. You helped us today, and we won't forget it. to fetch any, this lot will be down around our ears. Ah, you there. Perfect timing. I couldn't persuade you to fetch me some timber, could I? I'd be happy. Oh, thank you. Takes a lot of work. It certainly looks like you've got your hand. Ah, you can say that again. The Fallen knew their craft, make no mistake, but not even their handiwork lasts forever. That's why the walls need shoring up. Can't have the uh, vegetable patch crushed before our first harvest now, can we? <laughs> no, I suppose not. All right, where can I find this wood? Ask over at the White Ads. They'll point you in the right direction. Thanks again. I really appreciate the help.
Do another one of Sid's strays. What? I see I'm busy here. Excuse me. The man work. Ah, that'll be Jeffrey. You take as much as you need from this. Thank you. No, not at all. Here we are. I better get this to Jeffrey, was it? Oh, you're back. Will this be enough? This will do nicely. That sounds ominous. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. And it's a damn sight better than the alternative. We're safe, we're warm, and we're hidden. What more could we ask for? Now stop fretting and take this. You've earned it. Welcome to the fold. There's no need to. That's not a matter of need. This should be enough to shore things up for a little while yet. Yeah? Thanks again. Do you think we should go and help? Don't so. Ah, and the fat chocobo is a demanding mistress, and we are for your trouble. I can offer you the contents of my strong box and my enduring gratitude. I don't see why not. Marvelous, Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment. Now, I have three hungry customers awaiting their victuals. I was hoping it might be. You're new, aren't you? Well... <laughs> when he's not out chasing rumours, sits up there in that hole of his, brooding. Yeah. 